Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, pool fans around the world. Thank you for tuning in to the 2023 International Open. Thank you all in attendance here tonight. People are starting to wear down, fatigue is setting in, but these players are still on grind, grinding on. With thanks to our sponsors, as always, Diamond, Simonis, and Aramith, we bring you this Pat Fleming production from the Accustats Arena here at the Sheridan Norfolk Waterside Hotel once again. Let's get on with our final match for this evening. First up, coming to us from Poland, he's a two-time European champion. He is the current number one ranked European, sponsored by Erg Berun and Predator. It's the butcher, Mieszko Fortunski. And his opponent coming to us from Greece, the 2022 Wisconsin Open, 2021 World Pool Masters Champion, also sponsored by Predator, and in the box sportswear, it's Kazabubu, Alex Kazakis. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may approach the table to lag for first break. This will be an alternate break format. Race to 10. Our official timekeeper for this match is Dorothy Potke and taking the reins of the airwaves, filling up the airwaves on his lonesome this evening, Mr. Captain Hook himself, Mike Siegel. Take it away, sir. Okay, welcome pool fans. We're at the Sheraton Waterside, Norfolk, Virginia, and this is a Pat Fleming production. We're at the International Open Nine Ball. I'm looking forward to this match. I have watched both these players. They're deadly. They shoot straight as an arrow. Now, for you people that like me, turn the volume up. But for the ones that don't, put it on mute because I'm all you're going to get tonight. So we're going to start out with the break. Fortunski has elected the break out in the center of the table, like all, trying to make the one to our right in the side. And he did it. <laughs> Now that's a technical type shot. So the players are playing for the one on the side. The nine ball is actually racked on the spot where the one would normally go, which makes the corner balls much, much tougher to make. That's why everybody's been breaking from the side, trying to make the one on the side. Problem is you may or may not get a shot at the two. We're gonna keep an eye on that for the whole match to see where the two is going, who gets the easier shots. So he's got a shot down the rail, I believe. Nice shot. Both these players I've seen, they're, they shoot straight. The European and people from other countries, they just pocket balls unbelievably strong. Nice shot again. Boy, they just roll them in like nothing. So he's got a pretty good layout, except the six to the seven could be an issue. He's got an easy shot on the five, but he may go for the side, but if he gets wrong on it, it's going to be tough to get to the seven. And that's what he's elected to do. Watch it. I'm not sure. He's walking fast, but I guess he's okay. It's hard to see the angle from up here. He's got a shot. I don't know if he's going to go to the rail, side rail, and then go down towards the seven. Off the rail, very good, perfect. He nipped the eight, but I guess that really wasn't in play. And then he get, of course, straight as an arrow on the seven. He's left-handed, so I, I like that. I like the lefties. Nice shot. Hmm. So far, so good. He made this run out look very easy, especially the opening game. You want to make sure you get off to a good start. A lot of times the first or second game dictates what happens. That's a great run out right there. Great run out. Of course, they're playing rotate break. So right now it's Fortunski. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Kazakis' break. Let's see what he does. It's interesting to watch this because, again, I've been watching pool a lot, and this new format that they're using, 
no one is just breaking out in the middle of the table trying to make any random ball and then play position on the one, which that's kind of like what I like because you might string racks together. Of course, the rotate break slows that down, but each player gets their chance. So the players do like this format. They each get a chance to break. In case they lose, they feel like they had a shot. Let's see where he breaks from. Now, he played in the 10-foot table, so this has to look pretty small to him. He's breaking in the identical spot. I believe the two is under the one on the breaking side, so it shouldn't go very far. And, made the one, and the two literally almost didn't move a foot. So you can see when the two is in different positions, which I will point that out, it makes a difference if the two goes up table, if the two stays down table. You've got to pay the referee a lot of money to get that. <laughs> and he's got a pretty tough shot here. Pretty tough shot. I'm not sure he's even going to shot. I think he might be banking this. Is he cutting? I, I can't tell from here. Let's see what he does. No. He doesn't like it. This is a tough situation. He could play a safe. There's, there's a possibility of playing a safety. He'd have to go around the nine, I believe, put the two on the bottom rail. But the bank cross side, honestly, that's a gamble. Let's see what he does. No, he doesn't like it. Now, they do have a shot clock, 30 seconds. So he can't look at it all day, but he does have to make a decision. I'm still not sure what he's doing. He banked it, soft bank. See, that was very, now you see he played position. That's great, except he didn't make the two. That shot was, in my opinion, a low percentage bank. It wasn't lined up, and if you miss it, you probably sell out, which is what he did. He had position. If he'd have made it, he probably would have run out, but it was tough. I think, in my, for me, I would have played safe there, especially in the beginning. You don't want to get a guy two, three game lead right off the bat. Nice shot. Okay, he's got the three. He's got the four. He's got a little more angle than he would like, so he may go across table. He may try and kill the ball. I think he's going to go across table, I believe. Yes, across table, come out, perfect. We like perfect in the booth. Well, this is also a little tricky. The five, if it goes in the corner, that's better. Past the six, if it doesn't, he's going to have to come down towards the nine, flirt with that to get a good shot on the five. So I don't know what he's doing yet. I'll see when he cues it. It's a tricky situation. So let's see what he does, like always. Looks like he's going up and down. Inside. Now, that was a great shot there. I didn't think he was that smart. <laughs> That is a great shot. A lot of people don't realize that you can put inside English, go short of the ball, still get a nice shot with an angle. The problem is either he has to go back and forth or kill the five or run into the six. I think he's going back and forth, cross the table, six in the corner. Or inside English. No, he did that cross. Nah, he got a little, well, he's okay. He got up a little further than he would like. Straight in, the side pocket point may, may play in this. He could stop right there or follow down. It depends if the side pocket point could be in the way after with the cue ball. He stopped. That was a smart thing to do. I mean, this is, you know, make the eight, nine in the side. Nice shot. So far for Toonski, I'm pronouncing that correct, looks very solid. He's getting off to a two-game lead, and it's his break. Two-zip. Nice spot to be in. I think it's his break. It's getting late here, folks. So I know this is broadcasting around the world. I mean, pool has advanced. In the years when I played, you had a few people from overseas. Now you get people all over the world. They're broadcasting, streaming this now with the new technology. Anybody on the planet could be watching this. 
So we hope it's like five. Pat Fleming said it was five million viewers. So he's happy because he gets a dollar a viewer. I don't think that's accurate, though. All right, here we go. Again, this time he's breaking from a different side, I believe. He's trying to play the one in the right pocket. The two, again, I think is on the corner, so we don't know where that's going if the one goes in the side. He, oh, the two went in. That was not, See, there you go. That was the corner ball, and he didn't hit him that hard, and they're trying to stop the corner ball from going in, but it happened to go in that time. He didn't even hit him hard. So, you know, the players complained years ago about the corner ball keep going in. They didn't like that, but now the one on the side is almost as routine as a corner ball. The difference is you're not playing for a ball when you break. He's trying to make the one on the side, so you're going to see a lot of situations where they might make a ball, usually the one on the side. However, they don't get an easy shot. So he's pushing out. Push out. Cameras, don't see you here. This is a pretty tough <laughs> Pretty tough push out. And I think I would, well, I don't know. This, I don't think he can make the eight on a billiard. He might make the eight if he jacks up, but the cue ball's right near the rail. I think the eight goes on a billiard. If he hits, he's got to hit a low cue ball, hit the left of the one, slide into the eight. Or he could bank the one down table and drift towards the eight. Okay, he's pointing at stuff. He might go for the 1-8 billiard. Very possible. Let me see. Let's see if he jacks up. I don't know if it goes with a follow. He could be playing safe. These guys are walking around every different angle here. Well, he's following the ball, so that looks like he's playing safe. Thinned it. I don't know if... Let's see. Yeah, I didn't like that safe. I mean, the guy doesn't have a tough uh, an easy shot. Um, Kazakis doesn't have an easy shot. However, it was automatic that he was going to let him hit the one. A lot of times you do not want your opponent to hit if you can get behind a ball. I didn't see that happening. Now, he's got some options here. He can bank the one up and down. He could slide the cue ball behind the eight. He could slide the cue ball behind the four. Uh, they're, 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 that's what he's looking at, the easiest and best way to do it. None are easy, okay? But this is where players have to make a decision what they feel is the best shot to play a safety. I mean, I don't think he's going to shoot at it. It might go in the right corner, but he wouldn't do that. It looks like a scratch, at least off the eight or pocket. Let's see what he does here. I mean, I don't think he cut it in the left pocket either. Of course, I've been wrong before. He tried to play a safe. Oh, well, that's not bad. See where, I mean, that's great. Now I see it. That was a great shot. That was my first choice. Hit the one, slide behind the eight. I don't think he can hit the one. He's shaking his head. That was a great safety play. Now he has to kick, and he's got a tough way to kick. That's why his safety I did not like. I don't like playing safe where I automatically let the guy hit the ball unless it's rail to rail, and that's all I could do. Um, Fortunski definitely had different options to play a safety or possibly the billiard on the eight, which led to this. So he's in a tough spot here. If he goes by the six, he's going to hit the cue ball with draw because the angle does not lay that well. It's going to go too long. Okay, well, he's cutting this close to the six ball. See, he poked it. Yeah, there you go. See, he punched the cue ball at the rail to shorten it up. Uh, he might have got a little lucky on the three. Well, Kazakis has to play the one. He's got to get at least mid-table or higher to play the three, I believe. Yeah, the three goes. He's got to get out in the middle of the table. Yeah, see, so he's pointing. Thank you for pointing right there. That's where he wants to land. He could go two rails around the table, one rail up. I think he's going to go around the table, a little bit of right, low, two rails with speed. 
too soft, I think. Is that too soft? Ooh, that's close. Actually, he's perfect. Wow. That was close. I mean, you see, if he hit it a hair short or too far, he would have had a problem. But he hit it perfect. Nice shot. Four, five, six. Balls lay well. Five's in front of the hole. I think he'll play this high, right English. Come out again in the middle of the table. I've done these broadcasts. You'll learn very quickly that the middle of the table is your friend. Not always if the balls are on opposite ends of the table, but normally almost any ball you can make from the center of the table to a degree. So he's got to be careful with the five. Again, he's got to draw back. Hope he doesn't get dead straight. He needs some angle to get to the seven. Nice. See, he didn't get way up there. People are saying, why is he so far away? He protected the angle. So I think that was a great shot. If he came up further, he might have got straight. Then he's got a problem getting to the seven. Now he's got a natural angle. Follow it. He wants to try and get fairly straight on the seven, draw back or stop, then cut the eight in. And it's natural. Just make it. Just concentrate on the speed. There you go. That's what champion players do they get the they try and get the natural angle and then focus only on the speed because they're probably going to make the shot so here it's you know just he's not going to draw it in the side he probably just go to the side rail come out he may try and draw it i don't think he would do that yeah there you go perfect play the eight just be aware of the speed come down one rail that's all you need to do he just wants to get again in the center of the table to our left a little further past the side pocket at the worst. That's perfect. Look at it. Hold on, hold on. You never want to get under the nine. We've talked about this. You can all, the best shot is always stay above the nine. Always. It's much easier than what we call a back cut, even though he'll probably make this. If he'd have gone down three, four inches more, he wouldn't have liked it. Nice shot. That was a good run out. Very good. He had played good speed. Crowd likes it. Okay, we got a little ball game here. 2 1. You know, when you're down, that was a big game because if he gets down 3 nothing, race to 10 in his rotate break, that is a lead. 2 1's even, in my opinion. So, you got Ed racking him. Now, Kazakis said he paid Ed 300 to put the two in the right spot. So let's see if he does it. I'm kidding. He got the gloves. That's the first time I ever saw Ed with gloves. That, that's a new one. Touching. Now, the rack they use is, I love the rack. It puts all the balls froze together. I think that's the best rack on the planet. They freeze. He's wiping the cue ball down. Okay, let's go. Here we go. They're both breaking identical except the other side of the table. He's now going to try and make the one in the left pocket. The two is underneath, so it shouldn't go way up table. Let's see what happens. Okay, look, the one went in the side. Now, if you notice, I don't know if we can get a replay of that. The two and cue ball were right there, but they collided. But the two is still down table. See, people have to be aware. When you play pool for a living... You have to watch and see, try and get every advantage you possibly can to win the games. Watch this. You see the two, the cue ball hit the two, but it wasn't going anywhere. That's because the two was racked lower in the rack. When it's racked high, it goes up table, especially opposite the breaker. If you want to know more, MikeSiegelPool at gmail.com. I'm always available. That's a little inside joke. The, the phones are waiting. <laughs> And he's pushing out. There's really not much he can do. Watch this. Whoa. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm not too familiar even. I, I, there's really not much he can do. There's not much he can do. I mean, you can hit the edge of the two. It's about all you can do. I don't know why he's taking this. You can't get tricky and go around the table or, you know, two's going to move. He's going to cut it. He may try and get behind the nine. A little high left. Hit the two. Go across table. 
That's exactly what he did and executed it flawlessly. That was a great shot. Great shot. Great shot. Kazakis is going, whoops. That was a great, that was not easy. You know, you watch these sh shots, and when people watch this on TV, it looks eh, simple. But meanwhile, you have no idea how easy it would have been to leave a shot, leave an easy safe. He, I mean, he hit it perfect. Now he has, well, there's, I see one thing that he may be able to do is kick two rails, catch the backside, the, the long rail side of the two, send the two up table, and the cue ball may hit the four or five and stop there. Easy speed. There may be a way to get the other guy snookered. There you go. Well, see, they're reading my mind. Look at that. <laughs> I don't, and he hit that perfect. Of course, I've been around a little bit too. So, you know, kicking, there's an art to kicking for people out there. Again, the speed and the way you hit the ball matters if you're going to leave your opponent in a tough spot or not. I mean, both of those safeties were hit exactly perfect. Now, I don't know what you do here. I think here you pay the guy. He might hit this, but I can't see anything good happening. Oh, he touched the ball. Now, they do play foul on all balls. So normally, in 99% of the tournaments I ever played in, if you touch a ball, the referee moves it back. You continue shooting. It's not a foul. If you touch the white ball, that is a foul. But here they're playing any ball you touch. It's a foul. Cue ball in hand. So, yeah, yeah, Fortunski, well, he touched that ball. I don't, I, he may not even been aware of that. I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but he got a little careless touching that. So now he's going to drift down between the eight and side. Beautiful. Perfect. We like perfect in the booth. So this looks pretty good. He's got the four, come out for the five. Just go in the center of the table or come off the rail a little bit. He doesn't want to get dead straight on the five, but any angle will suffice. Nice. Perfect. Five off the rail. Get the little angle on the six to go to the side rail and back out for the seven. These guys make it look easy. Perfect. Wow. I mean, that's, yeah. Now, when he comes back for the seven, he's got, he's pretty straight, but he's good. He doesn't want the angle where the cue ball is going to run into the nine if he cuts the seven. And so he's going to try it now. See, Ed's watching if he touches something. He wants to get kind of straight on the seven. Nice. So he can draw back, follow it. I'm not sure what he's going to do. See, he's going to draw back a little, I think, and then play for the eight. I believe he's going to do it. Yeah, he's drawing back. Most players like to draw the ball as opposed to a follow. It's more control. Beautiful. So he can play the eight. He's got a perfect angle either to kind of slide down on the right side or go across table for the nine in the other pocket. It depends how he feels, how he shoots it. Either way is fine. He went across the table. That's the way I like to hit it. And very good. <laughs> I won't say perfect, but it's close enough. Nice. Well, we got a ball game here. You know, guys can get weak when it... Okay, we're going to look at the replay here. So now here's where he touches the ball. Let's see. He's stroking. Ah, ah, see, he moved his hand... And all of a sudden, he wasn't aware of the four. That's what he did there. So he was stroking. He, then he moved his bridge. He rearranged it, touched the ball foul. That's like Merry Christmas. I saw a guy, uh, Jimmy Marino was a great player from Pennsylvania. And I went to a tournament, and they were playing straight pool. Now, in straight pool, you always play foul on all balls because there's 15 balls on the table or less. Jimmy Marino in the hippie days had his real long hair, and he reached over, and his hair barely touched the ball, and the referee called it. So that's a shock. Okay, let's see what's going on. 
Fortunsky is breaking. They're both breaking on the opposite side of the table. Okay, so he's going for, now the two is, I believe, down. Down or on the upper part? Uh, down, right. He made the one, but unfortunately two went flying. I don't know if it got kissed. I wasn't aware where it was so easy. But, again, this is gambling. You play the one on the side. The cue ball is almost always going to be down table. Even with the rack or under the rack, you see where the cue ball is? You're always going to have some kind of a tough shot. Or, we saw the repeat. So, you know, this rule, I like playing for a ball. If I make balls in a break, it's some kind of a shot. But it seems like you're always shooting some kind of a tough shot. Now, this is doable, but it's tough. And it's not automatic to get on the three. Yeah, he overcut it. We call that overcut the room rent. I believe... Let me see here. I don't know if the two goes by the six. It's hard to tell from here. I don't think it does. So, he can play some kind of a safe. He's got different options. He's looking to put the cue ball behind the six, I believe. I think that's what he's doing. Possibly. Cut the two towards the four. Or he could cut the edge of the two, go down table, try and get maybe behind the three... Seven, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, see right there? That's what he's looking at. He can cut it. He can cut it and go in between just under the side pocket on the long rail and then float in between the three seven and hope the cue ball gets behind the seven. I don't think he's going to go all the way to the end rail and then come under the seven that way. Let's see what he does here. Very, eh, I don't like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that was risky. I don't know if I, don't know if I would have, that was very precise. I don't know if I would have, I would have tried to go in between the three seven, hit the rail and hope I sneak under the seven. That's what I thought he was doing. That was very risky, but he, it paid off. Paid off, what do I know? So, Fortunsky, Oh, okay, he's elevating. He can, or he's trying to mass a hit the two. I don't. Oh no, he's jumping. Slight jump. Nice jump. And let's see what happens. And not good. I believe. I think he can make the two. I think so. Three's right there on the side. Another good layout. If he can make the two, he's shooting fast. So I guess he can. So his safety paid off. Nice shot. Very good. Three, fours up there, five. Five to the six could be a minor issue, okay. But, you know, if he stays steady and concentrates, I think he looks pretty good this rack. Go up table, perfect speed again. See, when player, first of all, the table is, as players play on the table, the cloth starts getting more, the surface on the cloth starts getting pretty standard. So the speed, they're really getting used to the speed, especially when you're winning three, four, five matches in a tournament. You know, it's like playing golf. You get used to the greens after a while. You think it's faster or slower. Same, so their positioning all of a sudden now is becoming much more precise. Okay, he's good. Come out, little angle. Beautiful. You know, come off the rail. Again, center the table, but favor our right. Anywhere over there. You don't have to draw this to the end rail. A lot of people make that this mistake. Just come out. He wants to draw it. Come out in the middle of the table. Maybe a little more to the right, and he should be fine. Oh, he did this. Okay. So he was straighter, so he elected to just power draw the ball. He felt comfortable doing that. He seemed like he didn't have enough angle to hit the five, go to the side rail, and come out. And that sh that's a great shot, too. I, I would say that was hit very well. That was a good option. Perfect. So he spins the cue ball. I don't know if you watch. A lot of the guys do not spin the cue ball, meaning, you know, the English that's why they invented the measles ball, to show the top players how they English the cue ball. 
He uses good English, so he finesses the ball with spin around the table very easy. If you look at his ball, it's always spinning. That's the way I play. A lot of players play with just a touch of spin, which is all you need. Probably slide this up for the nine in the side, I think. Very good. A little further than he wanted, but he's good. Okay. Nice. Good run. Good run. He played a great safety and it paid off. So I don't know. Of course, I'm, I don't think anyone, has anyone, <laughs> I'm used to, <laughs> I'm asking myself, I guess. I'm curious if somebody broke and ran out the first game. I can't remember. But it's a tactical game when you're breaking and trying to make the one on the side. A lot of times you're not getting a shot. So that's where the experience of the kicking, the safety play comes in. I mean, me, Captain Hook, I, I might have really done well in this. Uh, maybe I'm misjudging it. I don't know. Okay. Well, we've got a ball game again. I think it's 3-2. Now, he's electing a break from this side. The two, I can't tell if two or six. It's either on the top or in the corner. It was on the corner. Made the one. Now, he got unfortunate. The cue ball that time kicked the one, uh, the cue ball up table. But if you notice where the two is, it's well under the side pocket. So if you play zones, you got the side pocket down to the rack area. That's a zone. And then you got the side pocket up where they break. That's another zone. So, again, he got unfortunate. You know, well, he didn't get unfortunate. It's just roll the dice. He made the one. He has no shot on the two. This is gambling. They got a casino not far from here. This is also tough to push out. You can't keep pushing out every time. You know what I mean? Players, if you break, make a ball and get a shot, you like that. Or if you break, make a ball and can see the next ball, you can play safe or you can run out. The guy that sees the first ball most usually wins, but they're both not getting shots. Now he's going to, well... I mean, he could scratch on this. Now, the three is playable, so he doesn't have to travel a lot. But let's see what happens. Nice shot. Oh, my goodness. What a great shot that was. Wow. We're going to see that one again, I'm pretty sure. That, that was a great shot. Now, see, in, in the nine ball, you're allowed to use the jump cue. In the ten ball that we did, you are not allowed to use a jump cue. So that makes, in this game, a huge difference. He's going to have to play this with high, little left English. This is an automatic. Try and get up table. Oh, no, the four is where his hand is. No, it isn't. Okay, he elected to do that. I still say uh, he got he didn't want to get on the rail. This is a nerve shot. I keep telling the ball people four and five, a little tough to see from up here. So he's got to coast down. He's got to clear the eight. Okay, it's one rail speed, but he's got to try and make it. That's the focus here. Try just try and get past the eight in the middle of the table. Nice shot, perfect. Now he's good. See speed again. You have to make it, and you got to hit it with the right speed. So now, five, a little right English, I believe. Hit the rail. I don't think he'll go around the six. Yeah, high right. Now watch the spin he puts on the cue ball. High right, just bounce off the rail, four or five inches. See that? Watch it. Spinning. Perfect. Okay, he'll draw this, pretty sure. Pretty sure he'll, now he could, there, he's got an option here. He could follow it two rails out, or he can draw it two rails. The eight definitely on both shots is in play. See, he's looking there. I think I like that shot better. Now, I'd actually go the other way. I'd hit the low ball. 
High, little right. He's going to go to the end rail, side rail. Come out right where he was pointing. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that was executed perfectly again. Okay, this guy's a top, top player. I watched him in the 10 bowl. He got unlucky to lose his match. He played well. Can't remember who he was playing, but. Nice shot. Eight, that Don't get too straight the other way. Uh, I think that's what he did. Uh, see, he, see the cue go down? He's upset because he's either too straight or going away from the nine. This could be an issue. This could be an issue. He may draw back and settle for a tougher shot on the nine. I think that's what he's going to do. But I don't think he can get close to the nine. Oh, he, okay, he was fine. He was all right. He was okay. Yeah, again, from up here, it's a little tougher to see. The way he looked, it looked like he was stuck, but he wasn't. Again, you got to stay down on these, hit it with a good stroke. Nice shot. All right, this guy can play, Emmett. <laughs> Yeah, he's not doing anything wrong. You know, I like to watch players that run out a good way. There's, You see there's options. It all depends on certain shots how a guy feels. Let's look at this jump shot coming up. Watch this. He jumps it absolutely perfect, makes it, and gets on the three. That was a great choice, but he executed it better than I can imagine. So... Now he pulls ahead 4-2. I think he was down like 2 nothing. I, yeah, 2 nothing. And now he's ahead 4-2. This is rotate break. So, Kazakis down, is ahead 4-2. Let's see. Ah, now see, here's what he's do, now breaking where Kazakis breaks. I think. No, I'm, I'm getting confused late tonight. Anyway, again, one in the side to our right. The two is on the corner, so no telling what's going to go on there. Made the, almost made the one. How do you like that? Did he make something? Three, no, he didn't. Hmm. Well, the one is, the one, two, three are in a good spot, but unfortunately the four is in nowhere's land. So that's what he's looking at. He's got the one. He's got options, whatever he wants to do. He might play in the side, high left, low right. I don't know. He looks like he's following it. Two rails into the third rail. He wants to make sure he gets a little further down. He's good. He's good. Of course, now what's he going to do with the four? That's the decision here. This is tough. So he might. Let's see what he does. Let's see where he gets on the three. There's a spot he can get on the three where he may take a gamble and run down the rail, try and hit the four eight. And that's it. Right there okay now i would take a shot at this high ball he won't hit the nine high ball a tinge of right and he's going to go past the nine hit the rail or possibly just hit the eight i would gamble on this because you can't scratch there's no way to scratch on this medium speed you don't have to go crazy you might get a good outcome let's see how he hits it this is execution hit it perfect Absolutely perfect. I would have hit that a little harder, but there's not much you could do. You know, you got to gamble, but the shot, he put the cue ball on the three, perfect to do that. So now he actually looks like he, <laughs> he might have a tough safety here. I don't know if he can get by the six. He can't go towards the pocket. Hmm. And I don't think he can play the four in the other corner. I think I would have hit that with a little more speed. Okay, he's going to hit the edge of the ball, go past the six. No, not yet. He's got to make sure he doesn't leave a window here. I don't know if he can do that. The camera guy's right in my... Let's see here. Uh, and he's going to push it just enough. He's got to hope he's got blockers, six, seven, nine. Nice shot. Watch it. Beautiful. Let's see here. Uh, bounce. See, I was I was afraid he might make the ball dead. I think that's exactly what he did. I saw that coming. He hit it so 
No, the four. No, oh, this is really tough to see. Okay, if the four's on top, it looks like a dead kiss off the five. Or he may be able to just cut it in, but I think the kiss lays perfect. He's got to be aware of the five. He's got to be aware of the cue ball speed. A couple things there. He doesn't want to hit the eight and scratch, and he's got to watch out where the five goes. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of thoughts he's thinking of. I don't think he can just cut it in. I think he's got to play it off the five. Uh, uh, it's hard to see. Can't tell. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he played the kiss. Oh, that came out small like a rose. Very nice. Of course, now he's fairly straight. He has a tinge of angle. Of course, when you're down 4-2, when you were ahead 2-0 and 4-2, and this is your first shot, all of a sudden these situations mentally looks very difficult. I think he's got a fraction of an angle. He just wants to try and get out away from the rail. So I would hit that a little harder. I don't know why he did that. Go to at least to the side rail, get out there. This is tough. I mean, he's going to play this up the table. Hmm. Very tough. Very tough. I'm surprised he didn't hit that a little harder. Six in the corner. Floated in. Tough shot. Made it. Look. Ah. Oh. See, with the speed, he actually, that ball could have jarred easily, but with the speed he hit it, he gave himself a big pocket. That was two great, three great shots. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'd have to say Kazakis got a little unlucky there, leaving it like that. Oh, well, there you go, 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. Made a great shot on the six. Nice. Yeah, that was a big game. You know, 5-2 or 4-3. 5-2 is a good lead. 4-3 is even, in my opinion, at this stage. When you play races, you have to understand the numerical games that are big like when it's 3-1 it's either 3-2 it's even 4-1 is a big lead 2-4 same thing you know let's say it's 8-7 you know they're going to 10 the guy wins the game 9-7 that's huge or 8-8 eight, eight. I mean all those games it puts added pressure on certain key games and the players understand that 4-3 let me see here Let's see, the one goes on the side. The two now is at the bottom. That's going to fly. Eh, it got killed. The two got killed by another ball, but the one didn't go in the side. Eh, I still say this is gambling. I still say this particular game, balls are not going in. A lot of safety plays. I've seen other matches where they just run out, you know. The other guy runs out. This guy runs out. All right. One draw back. I think it can only get on the rail. Looks like the safest play. He may want to stop or draw back a hair in between the 3-7 or even go ahead and go in between the 3-8. I don't know what he's thinking, so let's see what he does. I think the play is draw to the rail. Oh, he did this. He had a little angle. Ah, a little flirting. Okay, I didn't like that. Hit a ball. Anytime you hit a ball and get a shot, I consider the guy fortunate. Okay, two. What's he going to do here? Three up the corner, come around the table. I'm not sure what he's doing. Draw back, three, seven. Three in the corner, three in the corner. Ah. He didn't get out good enough. Wow, we. Well, he's got a horrible position here. Because he's got the angle. If he draws back, he might hit the eight or six. Plus, it's a half a pocket. I might have gone around the table on that. Played a three in the same pocket. Yeah, this is. And the three's only got about a two thirds of a pocket here. Uh, well, if he. Yeah, of course, we'll see what happens. Look at this shot. <laughs> 
No fear. <laughs> That's funny. <when> I <laughs> Boy, these these guys, I mean, they just, I mean, it's, every shot looks like, like it's hanging in the pocket. That was very difficult. He forced the angle, shot the ball maybe two-thirds of a pocket. Of course, he landed in a little, he's got a little angle. I think he, I think he can get out. Okay, he's playing the long route. He's playing the long route. Now he's got a problem getting to the six. Uh, I think I would have either jacked up or hit it with a little spin, trying to get out closer to the five. This is not easy. He's got to draw this down absolutely perfect speed. I think he can only draw on the right side of the table by the seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Well, he hit it perfect, but he's coming. See, he had to clear the seven. Had to make sure, and he could have hit the seven, could hit the eight. I mean, a lot of things could have happened. Now he's sideways, six in the side. Tough, tough six in the side. He's got a safety, though. I see a safe, but he's going to go for it. I would have got closer to the five with a little spin, and I think he would have had a much easier situation than this. Let's see. This is another tough shot. Tough, tough, tough. Missed it. No, oh, he made it. Wow. And the seven. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's smiling, shaking. <laughs> yeah, he's going, well, more work. Well, the way he plays, uh, how is this going to miss? For Toonski, he's got a good smile. You can tell the character and how the guys feel and what's going on by the expressions on their face. Now, let's see, he's going to drill this. I can tell you that right now. It's going in pretty fast. Nice shot. Boy, these guys just don't miss a ball. Don't forget, these are four and a quarter inch pockets. I mean, you know. Now he's got a little funny on the nine corner side, whatever he feels like. But after all that, I think this looks like a hanger. There you go. What a great run out that was. What a great 4-4 four, four tied it up. I mean, boy, this is a battle of shot making. Never seen nothing like it. So, Pat Fleming, he's out there. We should give him another hand. He produced this whole thing. He's been doing it. I believe this is the fifth year of the International Open. It's a great tournament. The layout here, if you've never been here, if you ever get a chance to come, it's absolutely beautiful. Tables are spread out. No one touches. They got the arena, plenty of seating. Tables are gorgeous. What's not to like? Okay. I see a Jerry Bryceth down there. Give me a wave. There he is. Look, he's okay. There you go. How am I doing? Thumb up, down, what? Up. He's giving me the thumb up. Two thumbs up. Look at this. Thank you. He's he's the only guy that likes it. All the other guys are going, this guy, get him off the air. <laughs> Controversial. That's what I'm going for. That's all. Right? Ed's looking at me, too. I don't know what that means. Okay, here we go. 4-4. Four, four. Got a great contest. I'm enjoying this. Let's see about the one. The two, again, is at the very bottom of the rack, so that could do anything. It could bank. It could stay down, up. I have no idea when it's down there. One in the side like a bullet. Watch the two flying around the table. Uh-oh, this time he got a shot. Uh-huh. Again, the two is always like even with the nine or the rack area. I don't know. Oh, he got a shot. The two, he's got a shot. The three is very difficult because he's going to have to see where he pointed, side rail. The three is hanging in the upper pocket. Very tough to control the cue ball. Very. You'd be more comfortable on the bottom rail where he's standing, but he's not going to do that. Yeah, I don't know. This is. Whoa, he missed it. Oh, my goodness. Who said these were tight pockets? <laughs> the speed again. I, that one I can't believe went in. Okay, so, well, the players know to hit the ball with a soft speed. They have a big, now this, this, even I don't know what to do. If he, uh, rail first, I don't, it may go and hit both points. I have no idea what's going to happen here. 
He's going to try and go between the 9-8 around the table. I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, he didn't hit it hard enough. Still, now he's got a tough shot on the 4. The 5 doesn't go. Mm. I guess these guys playing one ball at a time. I mean, I'm noticing now where the 5 is. He had to get out there a little more. Now he's got to, I don't, he's not going to hit this high inside English, or he's not, I don't know what he's going to do here. To get on the five, I mean, yeah, high right English around the table, uh, but no one in the world is going to shoot that. So he could draw the ball even across table. He could hit it low, side rail, the side rail where his cue ball is, then go in between the eight, nine, possibly five in the corner or side. I don't know. Let's see what he does. He's hitting it low. What a sh look at this. Like, like he's listening to me. Stop. Oh, is that unlucky? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is super unlucky. See how he's frustrated. Look what he did. Look what he did. He's so frustrated. He got away with it. He, well, wow, that is unlucky. Even Jerry Bryceth knew that was unlucky. <laughs> he made an amazing shot, but the table just got a little away from him. That's all he could do. Hmm. Incredible. Pool, boy. It's the breaks of the game. He left this. I mean, he can kick at it. I don't think he can. Let me see. Can he get by the nine and kick the end rail? That might be the shot. Try and put the five up and stick the cue ball behind the six. I don't, I don't know if he can do that. I mean, that's not easy, but that's probably what he's planning on. He won't hit this hard. He's probably going to roll it. He may hit the rail, rail, five, and then come towards a nine. Let's see what he does. Yeah, easy. Buff. Very nice. That was a great shot. Great shot. Executed phenomenal. Let's start using that word. Hmm. Now, I would kick at this. This is a big ball. He's looking up at me. <laughs> I would kick at this one rail. It's a big ball. All he's got to do is hit it just mediumly good, and it goes in. Let's see what he does. The six is right there, too. Just medium speed. M made it. I think he made it. There you go. Maybe this guy took lessons from Mike Siegelpool at gmail.com. I don't know here. <laughs> ah, the six going aside. It must. Look at this shot. It goes on the side. Made it. I'm telling you right now, I am enjoying this. This is this is something new for everybody. Look at this. This is incredible. Incredible. So we've learned another lesson. You hit a great shot and then get unlucky. You don't smash the balls, and it turns out he actually won the game. So let's remember that. Take advantage of the – I learned a lesson a long time ago. Try and take advantage of every opportunity you get. You never know in pool what's going to happen. Even When you're kicking at a ball, he got unlucky, kicked real hard. You know, could have gone – who knows? He got frustrated. He wound up winning the game. He got a little lucky. However, when you're kicking at a ball, there's still a chance that you may get a good outcome. When you're thinking good, you get good results. When you're thinking bad, you get bad results. Okay, Ed gave him the go-ahead. We're ready. Players are allowed to take a break when it's their turn. You can't take a break when the other guy is either shooting or it's his break to stop his momentum. So he, here we go, one on the side. The two, I think, is up on the side of the breaker behind the one, so it shouldn't really go much. Let's see where it goes. Keep an eye on the two ball. Okay, two ball, just see it got kicked. The two ball stopped right there. And look at this. Made the one on the side again. Has a nice shot on the one, but the angle now he's got two options here. Play the two, slide back, and settle for a tough shot on the three, which I don't think he'll do. 
I like hit the two, side rail, go in between the eight, five, and come across the table. That, that's what I like. That's what I like. If he goes too deep, he might hit the five, and he probably will not hit the eight. That's what he's looking at because he plays the two and just comes out a little. He's got a very thin cut on the three. See, he's looking at this. This is, you know, 50-50, half a dozen the other. I don't know. If you're playing good, he can hit the two and go across table. Just miss the eight. Easy shot on the three. And he's probably a huge favorite to run out. That's the shot I would select because if I execute it right, game's probably over. So let's see what he does here. And you see he's debating. He doesn't know. One of the two. It looks like he's just drawn back and he's going to settle for the tougher shot. No, he did the correct shot, but he hit it too deep. Ah. Oh, he didn't control the cue ball correctly. He did not control the cue ball. That is a error. Put the error down. Yeah, he could have hit that much better. See, a lot of nine ball or any pool is execution. So, see, he's upset, banging the shaft. But that was the right shot. Uh, I, I would shoot it like that every time. I'm sure anybody would. Now he's going to kick. Don't get frustrated. Nice shot. That was a phenomenal. Look at these guys. Unbelievable. Uh, we're, you're seeing some pool here that's just, he kicked at that perfect. Of course, he tied the four and five up a little, but that doesn't mean anything at this point. The key here, you got to hit the three because if he doesn't, ball in hand in the three, he'll easily break out the four five and probably continue running them. So you, you have to hit the three. He's going to, look, he may have to go two rails here. I don't know. He's going to go that way with a lot of left English, the length and the angle. Just hit it. See, he just hit it soft. Ah, oh, he missed it. You see, the speed he hit it with, he wasn't concerned about leaving um, Kazakis a shot. He wanted to hit it. That was most important. All right, let's see the straight pool knowledge here. Here we go. Three. Now, straight pool player would play to three drift over and probably tickle the five four straight in the same corner but let's see what he does it's not easy but that's the right shot he may go to the end rail and out try and kick the five now he's going to slide slide into the balls again uh let's oh, see he hit the wrong ball see that's the straight pull knowledge he had to hit that high he had to hit that high i mean it wasn't easy but he just he went into the four and did not get a good outcome. I, I didn't like that. There was a couple different things he could have done, actually, there. But, yeah, see, when you play straight pool, those shots are almost routine. Not, a lot of nine ball players that don't play straight pool, those are the shots that you shoot in straight pool all the time. So let's see what he does. He's going to kick this easy and try and get it behind the five. Two rails. One, two, hit. Again, unbelievable. How good. <laughs> I mean, you know, you see it up here. I see a lot of times what the guy could do, but they're hitting every shot absolutely flawless. <sighs> Incredible. I'm enjoying this. Now, he, I mean, it's tough to even hit this. He can't go to the left. He's not going up. I don't know. This is unbelievable how good he hit that shot. Boy, I'd be, if I was playing, I'd be upset this guy keeps doing this. All right, he's going to try and hit the four again. I don't know what's going to happen here. There's things could happen. I'm not sure. This is like trying to hit it and hope. Medium speed. There you go. Yeah, see, it's one of them, you know, it's tough to do anything with that shot. Of course, this isn't a bargain, but. Cut it in. You got to draw around the five. So you got to go out in the middle of the table. Cut it in. You know, he won't hit the five. You just hit the end rail. Spin around the five. Play the five in the same in the other pocket. Pretty sure that's what he's going to do. Oh, yeah. I thought he missed that nice shot. That was a great shot. When you're shooting shots like that, you're aware of the five, the cue ball, the four. I mean, you're looking at five different things at once and then pull the trigger. 
So now, I mean, if he plays the five, he wants to try and get a little angle on the six so he can go to the side rail for the seven. Little left English, favor the right side of the table, anywhere. Okay, see? Put, see all the spin he put on the ball? He did that. Now he's perfect. He's got the natural angle. Just cut it in, short of the side, lay on the side rail, just speed, hair a left. I mean, this is, you know, this is like ball in hand position. Nice shot. Perfect. Doesn't even matter where he goes. I mean, I guess if he gets dead straight. Yeah. Well, this, eh, this could be a little issue because, yeah, see, he can't stop for the side. He can draw back. I don't know. This is, you know, he got about, a, he got about as bad as you could get on this ball. See, he's thinking just come back just a couple inches and play the eight in the opposite corner. The low corner. I think that's what he's going to do. Beautiful. He's got a. Uh, it's not straight in, but it's not horrible. If he'd have come back another half inch, inch, he would have been perfect. So he's got to cut it a little. Yeah. See, it's. I think it's a little more than a little. The side is not in the way. Actually, that's beneficial to him because he can. He doesn't have to go on the rail, so he's using the side pocket gap there so he can cue it very well. This could be missed. I mean, it's possible. A nice shot. That's a great shot. Those kind of shots are more of a test of nerves than anything else. So, nine on the side. I mean, this, this, he tactically played this game to perfection. Nice shot. Well, I'll tell you what. Unbelievable this game. He's, he's at 9.06, 9.13. 5 race to 5 now. They're both playing same score. I mean, to me, 9.13, 9.06, same. Both playing good. Anything over 900 is great shooting. Okay, we're looking score 5-5. Five, five. Balls pocketed about the same. Errors similar. Kazakis has one extra error. But basically, they're very close. So, and scores 5-5. Five, five. Okay, I'm still interested in the two ball, where it's racked, and the one on the side. I see, I'm watching other matches late tonight in the other arenas, and everyone is playing identical to the way these guys are playing as far as the break goes. Okay, so now here we go. I think he's got to move the cue ball a hair to our left because he's not making the one on the side as much as uh, his opponent. The two is top right, so one on the side. Oh, he scratched. Uh, that's the kiss of death. Well, again, you know, it's a gamble. You know, the guy's breaking. The cue ball's going back and forth. I mean, it's staying under the spot, you know, towards the, the our rack bottom rail. I just don't like it. I'll tell you the truth. I don't like it. A lot of gambling. Lots of gambling. Now, problem here, five ball. Got ball in hand in the two. Now, years ago, they played behind the line. And if the ball was behind the line, you had to shoot a spot shot. Today, they changed it. Much simpler. Ball in hand, anywhere on the table. So, he can make the two. Three fours next to each other. Problem is the five. Now, me... He's got a couple options here. He could play the two, three, four, get where, like, where you rack them, hit the five, stick behind the seven. I don't know what this is. What is he doing here? Ugh. What's he doing here? Oh, he's playing safe. Oh, okay, he's going to go behind the nine. He's on a scratch. Oh, he's going to break him out. Watch this. Five, seven. Look how good he's thinking. Five, seven, break him out behind the nine. Thank you very much. Now, two tied up to the five, but if he gets ball in hand, doesn't matter. Again, I overlooked that. I didn't see that. I mean, I would have played the two, maybe three, four, stick them, hit the five, stick on the seven. I guess it's, you know, again, half dozen the other. Uh, you know, but you can tell when a guy does something like this, he's thinking very well. So in pool, if you're thinking good, a lot of times you're doing things good. Now, he's going to have to go two rails on this. There's no, no other possibility. End rail, side rail. What is he willing to go? 
past the side and then go into the two, or is he going to go two rails and just go right into the two? He's going the short way. I don't know if I, well, he may know something, three cushiony kind of thing where he knows where the cue ball's going. If he goes two rails, hits just past the side, and the cue ball then goes into the two. I like going right at it. That's what he's going to do. He's going to go two. This is not an easy hit. Mm, that was very tough hit. Very. The angle that you know you got to give it to uh, to Kazakis. He he put him in a spot. Now the ball in hand. Now he's on two fouls, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I would be trying to run out. <laughs> you know he's on two fouls. They play three fouls. You lose the game. So um, for Tunski, scratch on the break, then scratch again. That's two. If he fouls again, he loses the game automatically. But I think I'd try and run out. Nice shot. Get off the rail. Perfect. There you go. He didn't want to get on the rail because then he was in trouble. Now he's he can foul down, draw back. I mean, he's got all kind of options. He gets on the five. The game's over. So he's drawing back. Little angle on the four. Oh, he fouled down. Okay, my mistake. Again. Okay, you see he's got that perfect little angle. He's got to hit this pretty firm. He's not going to follow it all the way to the end rail and back out. I think he's going to hit it firm and slide over for the five in the left corner. Pretty sure he's going to do that. Hit it firm, though. Nice shot. Perfect. Little bit more. Hmm. This is a little nervy. <laughs> well, no, he's just going to slide it in. Yeah, what am I talking about? He'll just slide this in, settle for a little tougher cut on the seven, and uh, go up for the eight. Nice shot. Yeah, it's, that's fine. Fine, fine, no problem. Now, normally, if you had a shallower angle, you go two rails around the eight, he'll just cut it in one rail to go straight up for the eight, maybe go th two, three feet. Beautiful, perfect angle, perfect angle, again, perfect angle. Follow it, end rail, side rail, nine's a hanger. Yeah, this guy is, this guy can play. I'm watching him more and more. Nice shot, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, what do we got here? Boy, this is unbelievable. I'm watching some technical perfect pool. Nice shot. Well, both guys, I mean, it's 6-5. Back and forth with a one-game lead. Nine, of course, now Kazakis is now coming a little bit more ahead of the, of the uh, TPA. So 9-17, 8-75, he is pulling ahead. Um, Fortunski went backwards a little. The two fouls got him. But it's still a fairly even match. I can't remember who breaks, but I can't. They both sit down. Me, I'd be. Oh, there you go. Okay. So Kazakis now gets the break also. So this could be. You see the pattern: two games, four games, three games, two games. If Kazakis gets control of this game, you know, at this point in time, being ahead seven five, that's big. So, you know, instead of 6-6, six, six, at this point, you want to be a couple games ahead. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Now, again, let's watch the one. The two is on the – now, here, watch what happens now. The two is on the same side – or the opposite side of the breaker. The two is going to fly this time. One on the side, two's going up. Watch the two. See how it went up? Up table. Now, he's got a shot at it, and he's got a good shot tough, but you see the one on the side, but the two automatically went up table. If he'd have hit it harder, two would have been on the end rail. But the idea being the same thing, that when the two is racked in one spot, it does something, and when the two is racked in another spot, it does something else. Got to pay the referee. So I don't think he's going to feather this in. I would hit this firm and try and go a little back and forth for the three. Three's right in front of the hole. I don't like just bunting this, so I'd hit it with a. Now this is tricky. Little speed. You got to hit this with a little speed. 
It takes a lot of guts to bunt this in. I think he's going to hit it side rail, the other side rail, clear the seven, and he's good. Or bunt. I don't know. I don't know if I like the bunt on this angle. Yeah, he did it. Well, look at this. Hit it. Perfect. I mean, he's a little straight on the three. Oh, he gave it the... Mm, I know exactly where he lays. Look at this. Now, he may be able to force the cue ball over. He may have to hit the three firm and drift down to play the five in the other corner. Or he may try and cheat the pocket and play the five in the same pocket. I don't know. Nice shot. He, you know, you're playing a four and a quarter inch pocket. He probably cheated that about an eighth of an inch and hit it firm and it drifted over. Now he's, he, now he, I like the draw shot here, but you could follow it. I think he's going to, I don't know if I like to follow here. He has to pop it off the rail to get length. Eee. Okay, he's good. He's good. He's per, again, we'll call it a clearance. Draw back. This is, again, you know, he wants to draw some, but not too much, but not stop. So, you know, this is all a feel. People can't explain how to do this. This is when you play pool, you feel it. Perfect. Oh, this guy here. Of course, now they've been playing. They've played other matches today, so they're, they're in gear. They had one or two matches under their belt today, so they're looser. You know, when we were playing the 10 ball, and when they come in early in the day, the opening matches of the day, they're much tighter. So they're not going to play this good, usually. I mean, except Van Boning, guys like that. Okay, he was straight as an arrow. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Why didn't he go down a little more or pull back a hair? This is, is he going to kill the ball or go across table? I mean, this isn't automatic. I'm sure he'll probably make it, but this isn't throw it in. Okay, nice shot. See, the speed of the table is much quicker than we're used to, so shots like that are extremely easier than when the cloth is way slower. All right, nine ball. This was a huge rack. He broke and ran out. It's one of the few. Nice shot. Boy, that was a, that was a, uh, that was a, he made a great shot on the two, made a good shot on the three, made a good shot on the eight. Now he's shooting 928. I mean, that's a big score. He's ahead 7-5. We're going to look. 7-5. Now look at the ball count. 42 for, for Tunski, but Kazakis has 64. Errors now is more for Tunski. So, I mean, and look at the score. Now the TPA now is getting a little out of hand. 875, 928. But it's showing up. You see the score set. Now, this is a huge game. Like that guy on TV, if you've ever seen that commercial, it's huge. 8, 5, or 7, 6. So this is, ex you know, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Now, you don't want to be three games behind going to 10. So there's a lot of pressure on him. One in the side, automatic. Oh, he's got a shot at the two. Seven ball gets out of the way. Look at this. I never seen anything like this. <laughs> ah. Can he make? Yeah, he can make it. Now, the position on this, this is a little tricky here. He's got to go in between the five, seven, five, nine, miss the seven. Let me see. I can't quite see. He might try and hit the 5. I don't know. This is very tough because if he goes in between the 5, 9, he'll hit the 7. So the position here is going to be really tough. I Honestly, I don't know what I would do. He's not going to bank it. Can't bank it. This is, I think his best option, I'm just saying, hit low right and try and drift into the 5. Just, you know, kill the cue ball right there. If he hits it full, he's probably okay. You got to take a little chance here. I mean, there's really not much you can do. He could lightly spin it, going between the five seven and, or five nine, and flirt with the seven. Or he might spin way up table. I don't know now. Well, see, okay, now see what happened there. 
That, if he went in between those balls, he hit the seven, he just gambled and got away with it. I mean, there's nothing else you could have done there. If he hits the seven the other way, could have got safe, could have, you know, a lot of things could have happened. But I guess you had to take a chance there. And it was either hit the five or go through the nine and five and gamble on the seven. So he took the ladder, turned out all right. Of course, now getting on the four is an automatic. Let's see what he does here. Oh, that was a good shot. Wow. So he killed the cue ball. Oh, the four. See, I'm looking at the five. Boy, I'll tell you. You guys got to switch these balls. <laughs> Please. So I thought the four was the five again. So he's got a shot at the four. Feather it in around the eight. A little bit of right English. Or he could draw into the eight. I like go around the eight. A little bit of right. Just smooth it in. He might go into the eight. It depends how you feel. Went into the eight. Wow, boy, these feathering shots. I'm going to tell you right now. Ah, nerves. Okay, draw back a little. I mean, nice. Boy, I'll tell you what. He made some shots to, to get this closer. Mm. Look at this. Unbelievable. He came with three, two or three shots that most people under pressure could never make in a million years. Look at this. Get up. I mean, he's amazing. See the spin that time? Helped it. Look at this run out. This is one of his few. I mean, again, there's not a lot of run outs from the break. I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets. Puts a little heat now. Now it's 8-7. His TPA went up 895. I don't really think the TPA at this point means anything, but that was a huge game. Again, this is a big game. You know, 8 6 or 7 7. So, you know, let's see what Kazakis does. If he can come back and break and run out. Pressure. Yeah, he made a heck of a run out there. I'll tell you that right now. And I think this is a loser side match. You're going, how could these guys be on the loser side? Somebody will tell me. I'm, I, I think this is a loser's bracket match. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, let's see what happens. Now he goes, now the two is racked. This, the two is not going to go much because it's racked on the same side as the breaker under the one. So look, then you move. Look where the two is. See, okay, Ed, let's stop this, all right? Stop. No, he doesn't have a shot. Doesn't have, the two barely, it only moved over three, four inches. One on the side. Got a little, he got a little, I'd say, more than unlucky. He's a foot from the two, can't make it. Now that, and it's open. You know what I mean? The four's got it blocked. The three's got it blocked. That is frustrating, frustrating. He's got an easy safe, a couple easy safes, but... He could thin the two, go behind the four. He could roll the two up table behind the six, the cue ball. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, he's got a couple options. Both are delicate. Let's put it that way. He can roll the two up, slide the cue ball just a little behind the six, or he can thin the right side of the two just a little, roll behind the five, I believe, or the four. So let's, I think he's doing the six ball behind that. This is tricky. And perfect. What? Did he do it? I think he did. I think he did. He may be able to touch the edge. Oh, no, he let it out. Uh, of course, he, he now he got fortunate. The two got tied up with the four. But he can hit it, but he can't make it. He might go cross corner. That's a legitimate shot. And then go down table. The only thing that could happen is he gets behind the six with the cue ball for the three. I think he's going to go for this cross corner. Yep. Watch the six ball. Watch the six ball. Six ball. Six ball. Ah. Has he got a shot? I'm asking myself. I guess he does. He's shooting fast. That was the only thing that could have happened, get behind him. He made a great shot. If he, oh, no, he's behind the six. He's jumping it. There you go. Yep. 
Yeah, see? The six was the only ball that could get him. Now he opened the door here. Look at this. Boy, that's frustrating. I mean, he makes a great shot on the two. If he missed the two, he probably would have left um, um, Kazakis a tough shot or no shot. He made it, and the six got him. Uh, that, was, that was a little unlucky there. Of course, it laid that way. He's going to draw this all the way back, I think. You don't have an angle. Yep, there you go. Beautiful. Get away from that six. Perfect. Now, this rack's a little tougher. He's got the four. He can get on the six. He wants the angle kind of straight or the angle going towards the nine, just a little. But then getting from the seven to the eight is not super tough, but it's, it's you know, got to be hit correctly. Nice shot. And I think he's... Ugh. I think he's got the other angle. I think he's got the other angle. He's going to draw back. He wanted the angle just to coast to our right, not left. See, he's got that. He may force this to the side rail or just stop right there. I don't know. I think he's going to stop right there. See, the reason he could have got on the end rail and just cut the seven and gone up table would have been a throw in. Now, the... <laughs> He's got to control the cue ball. He's got to hit the seven and hit the side rail past the side. I wouldn't go one rail, but he is going one rail. I don't. I like catching the side rail. Looks like he's putting a lot of English on this. Yeah, see, I don't like this shot. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like that shot. He should have gone to the side rail past the side and just cut it in natural. With speed. Now he's in nowhere land. I mean, this is a tough shot. Tough. To, I don't like that shot at all. You're always afraid of the corner, so you're always going to come up short. And if you make the angle towards the middle of the end rail, you're in trouble. I mean, this is a very tough shot. And you got to control the cue ball. Nice shot. He hit it with a hair inside, hit it about as good as you could hit it. That time he used the side rail. See? But he should have done that going up the other way. I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, I'm, maybe I'm too picky, but he hit that one perfect. Now, all he's got to do is cut this in slow speed. Wow. I mean, we are seeing some pool today. I keep waiting, thinking the guys are going to get a little nervous like Jerry down there, but they're not doing it. He didn't hear me. Or he did. Where's the thumb? You got the thumb there, Jerry? Jerry Bryceth, are you there? He's listening. Oh, he turned me off. He goes, I'm not listening to this guy. Oh, he didn't. All right. You're not you're not you're not giving me the thumb. Oh, two thumbs. He turned me off. I know you did. <laughs> no, he's this is a great match. I'm somewhere down the road. Now the scores eight six. That's it. Now this obviously is really a big game. This is the biggest game of the whole match. Nine six or eight seven. Get on the hill. We call that the hill. The other opponent's got to win four in a row to win, and the other guy's got to win one. I'd say that's a big advantage. So let's see. Hope everybody's enjoying this. They're going to show this later on. You'll be able to search for these matches. I would suggest. If your friends you want to show them a great pool match, this is one of them. One on the side, went in like a bullet. I didn't, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. That was super unlucky. Oh, my God. He got kissed in. He got, I didn't notice where the two was racked. I wasn't paying attention. He got kissed. Well, of course, the cue ball's going back and forth. And click, 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 and things happen. So, is it going to be an early game? Ball in hand in the two. He could play a safety on one. I don't know if I'd go for the 3-9. That's the only way you couldn't run out. I like three in the side. And then the four fives laying in the hole, six by the side. So, I mean, the only way you can lose the game is play the 3-9 combination. I would play the two and slide down in between the three, four, five, and try and get on the three in the side. I think that is the correct play. And I think he's looking at that. Slide down, just straight. 
to our right towards the five. I think he's doing that. Oh, my goodness. What was he doing there? Oh, I, he tried to do too much. Too much. He could have cut the two and just drifted down. Going three rails. I mean, he's watching the cue ball, the object ball. Well, he is very frustrated. I don't know if you get a, a view of that, but he wants to cut his wrist. I mean, that was very uncalled for. He, did, he made too much of that shot. He didn't have to do that. Now, if he goes for a three in the side, he's going for it. Well, he's coming down. He hit the two a little different than he wanted, but he got under the three, which gives him options. But he's got to come with another tough one. Three in the corner. This is the whole game right here. This could be the whole match, this shot. And he knows it. He makes it. He looks good. If he misses and leaves a shot, stick a fork in him. There we go. Let's see what he does. Look at that. <laughs> I'm watching these guys. I mean, they just he shoots it in like it was a hanger. Unbelievable. Now he's got a good layout. Four. Five's right in front of the hole. Just slide it in. Nice. Five, six inside. Kazakis is just can't believe what he did. He just can't believe he didn't get out from there. Six. Did he get up far enough? He made this a little tougher because now you got to draw back by the side. Let's see what he does. Oh, I think he'll cheat the pocket. Okay, very good. Don't get too straight, though. Ugh. Well, he'll, he'll draw this out. Yeah, this is not a problem. The tables are fast. So you're playing a slow cloth. This is really tough, but not on this. See, look, comes out like nothing. I mean, he almost overhit it. Draw back. This guy's got a smooth rhythm. Look at that, boy. I'll tell you what. Well, I predicted a 9-9, nine, nine, but, I mean, right now it's 8-7 if he makes this. That was, well, I'll tell you. I mean, if, uh, if Kazakis loses this match, he's going to remember that two ball. He just, he tried to do too much, way too much. Three rails. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking. Yep. That's probably what I would have done. You know, nervous. Don't forget, Mike Siegel at gmail.com for all your lesson needs. I have a little, little experience in this game. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mike Siegel pool at gmail.com. I'm forgetting my own email. Okay, I think I will be doing something with Mark Wilson in March. We're going to do a clinic, 12 people. If you're interested, contact him. I think he'll, he'll make some announcements somewhere. All right, let's watch. One on the side, two's not going anywhere again. One on the side, the left, two's going to stay right there pretty much. The cue ball bumped the t Oh, look at this bad break. Oh, boy, that's brutal. The two was there, and it bumped the cue ball. I don't know if we're going to get a replay of that. But he made the one, and the two didn't go anywhere, but then something kissed it, and then the, watch this. See, the cue ball kissed the two, and then the five kissed the cue ball. <laughs> uh, anyway, now is he going to play the two in the side? This is extremely difficult. I And the rack lays like, well, seven's a little funny, but. This is a tough shot if he's playing this. Very, very tough. Yeah, he don't even want to shoot it. I'd be up and down on this five times. I mean, this is, well, he's betting the whole game on this shot. He makes it, comes out for the three in the side. Oh, no, the five is on the point. Oh, lower, okay, okay. The five's on the point, so, again, this isn't as easy as it looks. I just noticed that. That's in a real tough situation, but this is tough. Look, I, you know, I got to tell you something. Uh, he got unlucky there. He got a little unlucky there. He made a phenomenal shot uh, again. I don't know if the three goes by the four. Of course, the five is in a tough, tough, tough spot. 
I don't know. Could, this could be one of them games. Whoever shoots at the five first loses. <laughs> Let's see what he does. He's gonna go across. He's gonna go in between the six five. Go across table again, or float it in. No, he goes across table. Perfect. Now I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if, what the five does. I don't even think it goes down the corner. He's looking to see if he can push it in the side. I just don't know. I can't see from here. I, he can get on the five. I just don't know if it even goes. If it doesn't look like it goes down the rail, it's right on the point. And I don't know. I, I, he's shooting quickly, so it must work. Can't touch a ball, remember. All right. I think he got where he wanted to. It, I don't think this ball goes in the corner. It may just dribble right in the side. I just don't know. I can't, oh, you see, I don't think this goes in the corner. I think the point's in the way. The five is sitting kind of on the point, which is, means it's a little left of the rail. I'm, I'm telling this is one of those whoever shoots the five first loses. Let's see what happens. He makes it this. See, I don't think this goes. He might have been able to force the five in the side if he was off the rail, hit it 100 miles an hour, bend the point, put the five right in the side. Let's see what happens. This has point written all over it. Yep, yeah, there you go. See, I mean, I've seen that shot many times. As I predicted, whoever shoots at the five first loses. I mean, it was in the worst spot it could ever be. It did not go down the corner. I, it, it couldn't go. So, let's see what happens. Now, the score, I think, is 8-7, right? No, 8-6. Can't remember. This is not easy. Okay, he's got to cut it in, go up and down the table, or just float it in. Nice shot. I don't know about this. Well, the six goes in the side. He's got to play now 7-9 combo. So he was hoping for the other angle to float down in between the 9 and 7, maybe play the 7 in the corner side. I don't know. He's got to play for the combination now, I think, unless he goes around the table. He's not doing that. Hit it 300 miles an hour. No, yeah, 7-9 combo. He got pretty good. <laughs> he got pretty good on it. So let's see what happens. He got pretty good on it. Nice shot. Yeah, whoever shoots at the five loses. I've seen that a million times. I mean, it's just unfortunate. Somehow the Bulls seem to know what's going on. Okay, and sometimes it's frustrating. That's all the word. Look at that beautiful combination. He got pretty good on, I mean, pretty good. He got about real good on the combination. If he was off angle, look, 8-8. 8 8 all that's even. What's he doing? Race, it's, we're playing a race to two. I feel bad for, uh, I mean, they're both playing great pool. I feel bad for Kazakis because... He made good shots, all that, but the 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 the, the five ball, I, I saw. I didn't notice it at first, but later on I did notice it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like uh, Fortunski has come back to. He probably got a shot of adrenaline. Now we're playing a race to two. Now this is a loser side match, so the loser is out. Unfortunately, one of them has to lose. I I I believe they both performed absolutely incredible it's a shame that one of them has to lose so here we go race to two for all the money playing the one in the side two's on the corner so i don't know what's going to happen okay one went in the side oh look at this oh boy <laughs> look at this oh my goodness look at this wreck <gasps> Two is hanging. Three's right in front of the hole. Four is hanging by the other pocket. The five is right the side. Oh, yeah. This is the rack you pray for. Look at this. This is hard to make a mistake. Now, look at this rack. Before anything happens, I want to put a shout out to my sons. Spencer and Trevor, they're here. Came with me. So, just to make sure they're aware of what's going on. Okay, he's got the three. 
he's going to use the extension. Now, you just got to make sure you don't snooker yourself. Nine, eight, you know, this kind of thing. He may just follow down, play for a long shot on the four. Well, it's not long. Four is right in front of the hole. So he's probably just going to follow up. Oh, he went around. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Okay, four. Look at this layout. Boy, this is your dream of this layout in this spot. Four, hanging right in front of the hole. Five, automatic position. Six, right there. Eight, in space. Nine, in space. Hallelujah. Boy, I'll tell you what. You know, Kazakis must be just sick. That five ball, I'm going back to the last rack. That just turned the whole complexity of this match around. He's got a good shot. He gets straight on the six. He can draw back or go around the six. I'm not sure what the angle he has. He's got a little angle. I would. I don't, he may draw back or he may go to the rail and out. I'm not sure what he's doing, but let's see. He's going to. He's going to go around the six, a little bit of left English. Nice, perfect. Get out, get out, get out. Ugh, why did he, oh, boy, I would have liked to have been straighter on this. This, <laughs> if he'd have come out further, he plays six, draw back, throw him in. Now, I don't know, plus he's got an extension. I would have hit that with reverse and made sure I come off the rail far enough to get the other angle. This is... He made this way more complicated than it should be. He's going to have to go around the table. Perfect speed. One, two. Oh, he's perfect. He's perfect. Perfect speed. But you can see something could have happened there. You know, when the opponent's sitting in the chair, you see that kind of a shot and you go, eh, something could happen. Doesn't hit it hard enough, maybe too hard, but he hit it perfect. Drawbacks playing for the nine in the corner. Boy, oh boy, this is turned around. Nice shot. Look at that rack. Boy, I'll tell you what, it doesn't get easier than that, but he did, make, I mean, he made a good run out, but boy, those balls were just in a beautiful position. Yeah, you got to get lucky, I'll tell you what. That rack came at the perfect time. Now he's ahead 9-8. Of course, it's uh, it's uh, uh, Kazakis's break. So if he can do the same thing, we got. I predicted the nine nine, and it's pretty close. <laughs> Here we go, boy. He's got to be frustrated again. The five boy. You know, I have a great memory in pool. I can remember every shot I ever made. That's how I play position. I can research back and remember situations that come up. That five ball on that point. I've seen that before. And like I said, whoever shoots it at first loses. That's generally the scenario. It's a shame, but sometimes the balls know what to do, you know. So here we go. He's got to take advantage of this break. I'll tell you that right now. The two is not going to go anywhere. So if the one goes in the side, he may get a good opportunity. Let's see what happens. He may, ah, oh, it just hit the point, but he made one. He made, two, let's see, three, six, eight. He made a, look how unlucky again he got unlucky. Ah, cue ball up table, one's right by the hole, but I think he's in trouble. He might be able to bank it or even cut it in. I mean, it's hard to see the seven is somewhere there, uh, the line. You see the break? The three went in the side, the one almost went in. I mean, really, the two is way. The two again did not move. It was right there, you know. So it's not going anywhere when it's racked in that position. Well, he's got something here. I don't know if he can cut it in or bank it. He's doing something. Can't tell. I think he's banking it. Uh, he's but definitely banking it because he would have shot it already if he was cut it in. He's gonna bank it. He now that he may flirt with the five. Okay, that's something else. He's got to hit it just right to bank it, hit the rail, and I think go either around the five or before the five. I, the angle, I just can't tell. But he's going to smooth it, and he's not going to fire this. Smooth. Nice shot. See, he flirted with the five, but he deserves that. You know, that's what we call. Well, this layout now looks <laughs> two stop or something. Four is 
good position. Five to the six and then six to the seven could be a minor issue. See what happens. But he's definitely got a shot here. Nice. Okay, four. Now he's got to be, this is where he's got to be careful. He's got to get a shot on the five to get to the six. Then he's got to go back up to for the seven. So he may go to the rail. He may try and draw out a little. He may play for the five in the side and go above it. Corner. I don't know what he's doing. Probably go to the rail and out under the eight or come up. Okay, he went up for the side. Come on. Perfect. Again, look at the speed. He just hit that perfect. Now, all he's got to make sure he don't get straight on the six. I like go down to the end rail and come out. I don't like floating down to the rail. There you go. See, there's the shot. A lot of guys just come down. They look, oh, I'm straight. I can't get on the seven. That's He did that absolutely. Now, he can hit this high ball, a hair of inside English, around the eight or come straight up. I like around the eight. But he's going to go straight up, I think. No. Yeah, so he went straight up. Either way, I would feel very confident a little inside English. Hit the rail under the eight, go around. Cue ball would have been about the same spot. Okay, seven, slide it in. I mean, you know, he wants to get close to the eight, and it doesn't matter what angle he has. Just cut it in a little left and just float down. Okay, beautiful. Very nice. Center of the table. Perfect. Nice little angle. You don't even have to do anything. Just medium. When you play the good angles, you don't have to pound the ball, force it, which causes the, the miss. This way you just smooth it in, comes out again. Nice shot. And, of course, he's not going to scratch. All you got to do is slide this in a little left. Just slide it in. That way you can't scratch. I've seen guys scratch on this. But that's, see, just slide it in. All right. As I predicted, we, <laughs> we have the 9-9. Nine -nine. They're both shaken. Now, how about this? Fortunsky has the break. Their stats are identical, 901, 903. And, you know, they're both shaking hands. These guys are friends. You know, they're enemies now, but they're friends. But... Um, Fortunus has a tremendous advantage breaking. So, let's well, see what happens. 9-9. Nine, nine. I guess I'm, uh, I predicted it, Jerry. That's right. Uh, right? Five ball. Five in the side. <laughs> of course, it would have never got 9-9 nine, nine if he made the five. Couldn't make the five. All right, so we look. Errors. I, I overlooked that, but the errors are close. Ball's pocketed. Look. People are standing up here, a standing ovation. This has been, honestly, one of the best matches I've ever seen. I just, I'm enjoying this. Okay, where's the two? Now he's got the two at the bottom. Two shouldn't travel a lot. So one in the side to our right. That's where it's going if it does. Here we go. He made it. Two ball did not travel. Look, he's right next to it. Look at this. But this is, again, now here's what happens. Two, no shot. Six, nine, tied up. I mean, here we go. <laughs> it's, he, he didn't get the rack he got before. So now he's got a couple things here. He could play the two, draw under the six, snooker. He, I don't think the two goes in the side. I'd be looking at that shot. Hit the two, little draw, get under the six. I think, or he may be cutting this in. No, I don't think he's doing it. I think he's drawing, doing what I said. There you go. There's a good shot. Okay. I would have tucked it in a little more, but that's okay. All right. I would have tried to maybe tickle the six. Maybe it kicks out. Now, he's going right to the jump cue. When we played on the 5 by 10 that you wouldn't even dream of jumping. He's going to jump it, but I don't know. I mean, this is, look how close he is to the six. But with a jump cue, these guys hit this shot. It wouldn't surprise me if it goes in. He could scratch, though. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Pray. Ooh. Ah. Well, both things. He missed it and scratched. Well, it's not over yet because the 6-9 is tied up. 
um, to, I mean, I saw what he was doing. The jump is good, but, you know, there was no value in my opinion. So now I'm going to see what he does here. I, honestly, he could play the three in the left corner and let the cue ball run into the six and gamble on the four. I don't think he's doing that. I don't know. This is ugh, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, he's trying to get in the three to run into the balls, but he didn't get there. See what he was trying to do? If he'd have got good on the three a little further down, played a three in that pocket to our right, and the cue ball would follow and break out the nine. But he didn't get there. Now, I'll tell you what he is going to do. He could have played the three. Now I see it. Three, he could have got straighter on it, then four in the side and drift into the nine, settle for a tough shot on the five. Now he's going to kill this. He may try and kill this and do the same thing. Wow. All right, here we go. Here we, he's going to, well, he's got a, a little more angle. He can play the four, a little low, a little spin, hit the side rail, tickle the nine, open him up, and settle for the longer shot on the five with the six open. This is doable, but he's got to hit this good. He doesn't want to get stuck on the rail or do anything, but I think that's what he's looking at. Four, a little bit of right. You got to hit the rail first. Don't go into the nine. Rail first, then hit the nine, the top of it. That's the best way. Six opens up, and he's got a shot at the five. If he goes into the nine, he may get jacked up over the, over the ball. That was perfect. Now he hit it, so he got a little away from it. He hit it. But he hit it a little not thick enough or a little speed. But he, well, here it comes. <laughs> here, it boils down to this shot. I mean, he got a little unlucky. He got a tougher shot on the five than he wanted. It looked like he'd only have maybe a couple feet over. Well, okay, here we go. He paces the five in. The game is over. That's it. End the conversation. Smooth. I bet his heart's going 300 miles an hour. Nice shot. Oh, what a run he's making here. Unbelievable how good these guys are playing. Now it's, you know, six, come off, follow. He can do a lot of things. Seven, eight, nine, looks pretty good. I think he's going to hit it low, come out in the middle of the table, go, go across. Beautiful. Get off the rail. He doesn't want to be dead straight. Well, that's the only place he could have a minor issue. If he had any angle at all, be throw him in. He's going to cheat the pocket, stop right there, and stay an inch off the rail. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, I don't. And look what he did. I don't believe he did that. I can't see what's going on. He's right in front of it. Look. See, he tried to pinch. The, see, that was a little careless. If he'd have made better position for the seven back and forth on the middle of the table, he would have just smoothed the seven and that would have never happened. He got right where he had to pinch the ball with low and he miscued. Of course, he's probably got that $100 chalk. Oh my goodness. Again, he landed in the only place something might have happened and it did. Unbelievable. With the shots he made, I, oh, this pool boy, you'll, that's why I'm bold, because you'll pull your hair out in this game. Well, I don't know if he can cut it in, but he's going for it. I think he can cut it in. I think he's got just enough room. Whew, I'd take a lot of me. I'd be looking at this for 10 minutes. Well, here we go. Tough shot. Oh, he overcut the room rent. Well, he missed it the right way. That was not an easy shot by no means. Not an easy shot. I mean, yeah, he's upset. He almost broke his cue. That was not an easy shot. You have to think when you jump out of the chair, a guy does something like that, you'll take anything, even a kick. I'm surprised he missed it. I mean, it wasn't easy, okay? He just hit it thin. He hit it the way that if he misses it, the guy's probably in trouble. Now... 
What do you do here? He's got well, me. I'm shooting at the money. I just bank this right in. I don't care what happens. Put the cue ball on the side rail. Follow it, and hope if I miss it, it's short. Ooh, see, he didn't play that right. He look at this. He got a, oh my god. <gasps> oh, that's frustrating. If he'd have paced the ball for the corner, he had a better shot of making it. Lay the cue ball on the side rail. Seven hits short, then rolls down. The guy's in trouble unless it hangs by the side. Now, here comes jump cue. I got a feeling he's, this is doable. Yeah, this is doable. It's doable. Mm. How about if the nine, nine went? Oh, my, he broke his cue that time. Okay, I get it. I mean, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's He missed the... I mean, it's not his fault. He had a really tough shot. Oh, boy, this is... I feel bad for both guys. I really do. I really do. Boy, this game will drive you nuts. Yeah, he's got... Psh, feel bad for him. Boy, he's very upset. Mm, mm, mm. Guy miscued. Well, I got to tell you something. This was an extremely satisfying match all the way to the end. Uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for Kazakis. I really do. But unfortunately, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. You witnessed a great match, 10-9. It's Mike Siegel. I'm glad everybody watched. Have a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.